Hey guys, welcome to the AL Show production. Today's topic we will be discussing about your pride will get you killed. Well guys, to keep more videos like this, share and subscribe to my YouTube channel or if you want to see different topics. This topic I need to talk about. Rest in peace to all the loved ones out there. Lost a child because friends and pride. First of all, let me explain something to y'all. Um, I'm not here to tell y'all about my story, my life. That's, that's not important. What is important is that what I want to talk about is it make a lot of sense to whoever want to take heed and listen to what I'm talking about. It's your life. You got to make that choice. I'm good. So, some of y'all out here, y'all pride is the one getting y'all killed. Some of y'all, y'all come at a, come out of an environment that it was very poor. We call it poverty. You understand? And you work hard to get yourself out of poverty to be successful where you is today. Thank God for that. And then, now, God put you on them highest stairs. And now, but when you was going up them stairs from that problem you was coming from, you always had beef. Or you just had somebody that didn't like you. But you didn't pay, you were paying no attention. You paid it attention, but you ain't really, like, you know, like, you know, like try to get caught up because you were trying to focus on your career. And I understand that. But what you do, now you got money. You're wealthy. You want to go back in that ghetto where you know you got old beef. Let me explain some. Old beef never die, man. Beef is always going to be there, especially when you get money and you're not in that community where you was raised at. And even if you do for people and you stop doing for them, like if you cut them off, the beef get harder and it get worse. You understand? And so what dudes do, they sit there and wait for you like alligators. You know how alligators sit in the swamp or the lake? And when you go in that water, what happened? They attack. So you like, man, I'm getting money. Man, I got to go look out for such and such. Auntie, I'm in that. But man, but, you know, you somebody be like, man, don't go back down now, man. It's crazy. Man, I ain't scared of them dudes. What, man, I, I'm getting money, man. Forget them dudes, man. And that's the mistake you make right there. Even if you go with security sometimes, dudes don't care, man. Them dudes got AKs. They got all kinds of assault rifles in that hood. You know that? Y'all know how that hood is, man. It ain't no, it ain't no even... Even playing no game. Y'all know how that hood is, man. You know what I'm talking about? And uh, you go back in that hood thinking it's all right. Like I told you, dudes up there waiting on you like alligators, man. You come through there driving a half a million dollar car, flossing, $200, $300,000 jewelry on your neck, fresh stop, decked up, going through the hood. Everybody know that's you. And then somebody tip off a dude that you had beef with back in the days. You got the best of him, but you forgot all about it. Now you got money, so you feel like you're invisible. Like nobody can't touch you on some Tony Martin. I mean, on some Tony Montana foolishness. And you go in the hood, man, I'm drinking, smoking, I'm chilling, I'm showing love. And what them dudes do? Man, he here. Tip him off, man, bro, here. What they do? Dude, get that AK-47, ski mask up, gloves. Man, he has such and such stone. What they do? Go get a stolen car. What they do? They see you. What them dudes do? Pull out that AK and they just start letting loop. Bum, 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 bum. And guess who get hit? It's not 
the one who told you let's go chill is you get hit. And where your mama think you at in a suburb or oh, I'm focused on my business, I'm doing this, but you in the ghetto. But you, your wife, you tell your wife, oh, I'm doing that, I'm doing this, I'm doing that. But you in the ghetto. You way up in the suburb, but you in the ghetto. And what they do, they call mama. Hello, detective. Is such and such son? Yeah. Where you at? He should be home. You sure? And then what they tell mama? Son did. What mama do? Break down, crying, going crazy, screaming, oh Lord. Because you know why? A stupid son, ignorant, illiterate. Let his pride and his so called ego got him killed. Now, who suffered? Your mama suffered. Now, the dude who told you, let's go chill, where he at? He gone. He out of sight. And this will happen every time, man. Every time a dude go in that ghetto flossing on these dudes, man. You gotta understand, these dudes in the ghetto, they hungry, man. They like wolf. So you like fresh meat. I don't care you raised with these dudes. I don't care how close y'all was. If you ain't take none of them and put them on your wing and go with you to be successful and you leave them back there and you up there, you think that relationship gonna be the same? Nah, man, stop fooling yourself. Stop fooling yourself, bruh. That's why y'all getting killed out here. Y'all making dumb moves out here. I keep telling y'all, stop letting people know how you make your move, man. Your tongue is your weapon. Out of sight, out of mind. That's how you're going to make it out here. When people don't see you, they don't know how to approach you. They don't know what's on your mind. But once people can see you, you get killed. And y'all doing too much flossing, man. Them dudes hungry down there, man. You driving a million dollar car. You driving a half a million dollar car. You got on $200,000, $300,000 jewelry on you. You got five, $6,000 shoes on you, man. You going there flossing on them dudes, man. And what them dudes, them dudes are hungry, man. And what they do? Them dudes got jealous in their heart, man. They already mad at you because where you at success. And what they want to do? They want to kill you. But you thinking the hood love you. Let me explain something to y'all. The hood do not love you. The streets is controlled by the devil. God let the devil run the streets, man. I keep telling y'all that. The streets controlled by Satan. You understand? And some of y'all getting killed. And y'all putting y'all family in a situation that they don't want to be. Because you a dumb, stupid choice you made in life. And mama the one suffering. Mama is the one suffering. The friend, he gone. He ain't nowhere to see. He's nowhere no more. He gone. But you're dead. And what they do, them same dudes who you think your friend. If they know where you live, they going into your house. They even trying to get at your woman. They even trying to get at your sister. Guys, y'all got to make out here, man. When you get money, you on a different level from people, man. Your circle, you got to keep that real s small, man. And even when you're in a circle, you can't let people know how you're moving, man, because you can't trust nobody. I have trust issues. I always tell you that. I don't trust nobody but my family, man. And it depends who they, who I'm talking about in my family. I don't trust people like that. I have to be like that. I panic. I'm in fear. A man who in fear, he going to do whatever it takes to defend his life. A man who think he hard and he tough like nothing could happen, that's a dumb dude. He will get killed faster than the man who got fear. Because the man who got fear, he see his enemy there. I ain't going there, man. I ain't got nothing on me, man. I'm not going there. But a man, man, I ain't scared of them dudes. I'm going to go there. What they going to do to me? That's the nigga who get killed. And that's what happened in the hood every single day. Them same dudes you left in that hood. You communicate with, even though it's long distance. You call them and say, man, I'm coming such and such. Come get me or meet me at such and such. The same dude you beefed with 10, 20 years ago, 
he still down with him. And he tell him, man, you know such and such, James, he over here? Yeah. Man, I remember that dude tried me. Where he be at? He gonna be at tonight. He gonna be at this place tonight performing. You know what they do? They sit and wait out in the parking lot for you. Once you come out, what they do? Bum, 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 bum. James, I mean, the dude who told you to meet up with him, who meet you at the club, he ain't get killed. You get killed. I mean, you suffer. And then some of y'all, y'all got this money, y'all wasting y'all money on some bunch of dumb. Some of y'all don't even have money to get buried. Y'all need to start making some choice out here, man. That's the clue of man and lady. Watch your circle, man. Watch who you keep, your friend. Start letting people know how y'all move out here, man. It's so sad, man. You know, I send this out to all the mothers out there, all the fathers out there, man, who lost a child just because a friend got them caught up or because they pride got them caught up. You understand? Their ego got them caught up. And it's sad, man. You know, it's so sad. And you know what them folks doing? People who your enemy, they just laughing. This dumb dude. Why the hell he come here driving a Ferrari, a Corvette, a Porsche, or flossing? Man, the hood don't love y'all, man. The hood don't not love y'all. Y'all better stop that. Y'all need to take that mindset out y'all mind. Y'all need to be focused out here, man. You know? Y'all got to step y'all game up, man. Watch who you talk your business with. Stay out of the hood, man. The hood do not love y'all. Once again, the devil run the streets, you know what I'm saying? Please, man, take this advice. It's up to y'all. I can't tell you how to live your life. I know how to live my life. I don't go back in the hood. I ain't scared of nobody, but at the end of the day, I know I got old beef. I ain't trying to get caught up. I ain't trying to let nobody score no points off me. I'm going to be the one who's scoring them points. So what I do, if I know I'm going to get into altercation, I don't go in the hood. I stay out the hood. You know, I'm too old to be going through beef with dudes. I'm about getting this money. I'm going to get this money. You know, y'all need to start thinking of what I think. Leave the hood alone, man. Once you get money, you don't need to get caught up. Them old friends, cut them off, man. Throw them away. They don't mean you no good. You know, if you ain't take them with you, where you at today, like I say, the relationship is never going to be the same. They're going to always have envy in their heart. They're going to always have anger in their heart. They're going to hate to see you where you is today. They want to take your place. They want to take you out. They will set you up. Stay out the hood, man. Stay away from the people, man. Don't trust everybody. Everybody in the hood you can't trust, man. Once you out the hood, stay out the hood. Like I say, let the priest or somebody who in high position in the hood, let them deal with that. If you want to donate to the hood, let them do that. You don't go and do that. Because People, even if you don't have beef in the hood, nigga still, somebody still want to kill you because it's your success. Where you at? Just seeing you, you flossing, you getting it. They hate to see that. You understand? I love y'all, man. Y'all take care, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm only sending out a message to y'all, you know, because I lost a loved one. And it's so sad, man. I lost my loved one, man, because I wish I could be there to talk to him, man. But... Sometimes there's so much you can do with these kids. You only can talk to them, but they got to make the choice. You know, I can't make no choice for everybody. Because what I, what I went through in life, it might, don't, it might don't be the same for you. You might die at 20. You know what I'm saying? So I love y'all. Y'all take care. Y'all support the AI show. Thumb up. You know, continue to support me. God bless. Peace out.